हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ टू इंप्लीमेंट इनफाइनाइट स्क्रोलिंग डेटा फेचिंग इनसाइड रिएक्ट चेयर सो बेसिकली इफ आई रिफ्रेश दिस एप्लीकेशन सो वंस यू लोड बेसिकली गाइस 9 20 आइटम्स विल बी डिस्प्लेड ऑन द पेज एंड एज यू स्क्रोल हियर मोर आइटम्स विल बी फेचड हियर यू विल सी दैट बेसिकली as i am scrolling right here guys more items are fetched from the api and are displayed here so this is basically the filter effect that i will show you how to in integrate this inside your react js application using a very simple package so there are many situations out there when you want to display more data as the user scrolls down the page so this is a really important package that you can implement inside react js which implements uh, infinite scrolling so as i am just scrolling the page guys you will see more and more data is fetching from the API you can fetch this data from anywhere from the internet and display it inside the browser so it's really easy so all the source code guys that i have used in this video is given in the description of the video so i have written a complete blog post step by step blog post explaining each instruction in detail so you can go to that description and go to my blog post and copy paste all the source code now let me show you which package i have used here so if you go to npmjs.com so here we have used this package react infinite scroll component this is the very first link which comes here this is the package here and uh, it has got over 6 lakhs weekly downloads you will see that it's a very uh, famous package and it takes a lot of options you can read the documentation so now let me show you how to integrate this so command is really simple guys so here we can simply say npm i infinite scroll sorry react infinite scroll component this is basically the library just install it i have already installed it so i will start this application npm start so now i will be showing you from scratch this is our react js project app.js nothing is there so now we will start the code here So the very first thing we need to do, guys, we need to write our functional component. So here you will simply say return hello world. So now if you refresh your application, hello world is seen here on the browser. And now, guys, we will basically import this package at the very top. We will say infinite scroll from React infinite scroll component. So just import this package. so after this guys we will simply embed this uh directive here so first of all we will have basically h1 heading we will say that uh, infinite scroll data fetching that's all and then we will have basically horizontal line here and then we will have this directive guys infinite scroll and basically guys uh, it takes some options here if you just refresh and uh, see nothing will happen it basically takes some attributes first attribute it take it data length so here you provide the items whichever items you are passing so for this guys we will have simply an array that we will have we will use basically the hook here use state hook we will use declare the items items and set items and for this we will use the use state hook and initially the value will be array from and here we will basically create an array from this method and the length will be 20 so we will display 20 elements once the user load the page this data can be coming from a database or api something like that guys so we are just creating it for explanation purposes and here we will pass the items dot length that's all and after that guys it takes the has more attribute basically it's a boolean attribute so this needs to be true every time if you want to have infinite scrolling and then guys we have the loader function this is really important function guys so here it typically has a h4 heading here basically whatever you want to say loading or anything so now what you will see basically it will say loading here you will see that loading so this will have this loading text out there so now to display the items guys it's really simple what we can do here we can use a map operator 
we can hear items dot map and then inside that we can pass the index the actual value and here we can simply pass uh, we can show this item we can have some styling attached to it we can pass the key as well which is first of all let me just pass a key which is the index here and then we can simply display this so it will be div 0 div 1 div 2 indexing start from 0 so 20 items will be displayed and then we will have this loading here we can even style this guys so we can simply declare a style object right here at the very top and then apply some CSS so we can simply say style and we can change the height to 30 uh, we can give a border to it one pixel solid green we can have margin 6 and padding to 8 so now we can have this styling that's all so now you will see we have styling guys you will see that basically so as I now ref uh, basically scroll guys nothing is happening so now we need to write that function we have one more attribute that we need to attach here which is uh, next attribute so basically next it is a callback function which automatically executes guys which is fetch more data you can call this any anything but I will call this fetch more data so here we will fetch more data and display it and fetch more data so this is basically a callback function so if you say alert you have reached the end of page so now if you just uh, just refresh here and as the user scrolls to the bottom of the page you will see this message you have reached the end of the page you will see that so now instead of guys we need to basically fetch more data instead of this alert statement so right here we will simply use the set timeout method to just have some animation 1500 delay will be there millisecond and here we will get more, it more items by using this hook method set items and here we will say items dot concat and here we will say array from and then we will pass the length here which is 20 once again that's all so this will have 20 more objects coming so as you scroll the page you will see that if I now refresh you will see me as I am scrolling downwards you will see more and more data is fetched here you will see that you can change this delay guys let's suppose if you don't want to have 1500 you can change it to 500 you can see that so this is infinite scrolling effect guys inside reactjs you can fetch more data from database api or any or any sort of thing using this nice package thank you very much for watching this video all the source code is given in the description of the video